After several false starts, I finally got the 16-foot clunker into the air. It's built of styrofoam, hot melt glue, and pool noodles. On the first actual flight, it hardly crashed at all. To balance the plane better, I put a video camera on a stick at the back. It takes in a view of the entire plane, plus everything down below. <laughs> kind of looks like a video game when it's flying. Actual flight time was about seven minutes, but with the big batteries it has, it should eventually be able to stay in the air for as long as half an hour. I've crashed and destroyed so many of these things now that I'm quite apprehensive when I fly them. But on the plus side, I'm getting much faster at building them. It usually takes about half a day from start to finish. So when one crashes, I can just laugh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! There goes another half a day. <laughs> you might think that I'm having fun when I do this, but this is serious business. The purpose of this plane is for dropping rockets, drop testing steerable parachutes, filming rockets, and launching rockets upward. I hope I get to do these things before it crashes and turns into a smoldering heap of crumpled styrofoam. The whole electric motor battery technology is getting quite advanced, efficient and easy to use. There's no way I'd waste my time with a fuel burning engine on these planes anymore. Just to finish this little film up, I thought I'd give you my definition of success. Success is continuous failure combined with perseverance. I always feel a lot better about my projects when I remind myself of that.